Hello and welcome to a Z Classroom video on customizing an insert brush. In this video, we're going to cover how you can customize the insert nose brush that comes with ZBrush. I've preloaded a image plane to in my surface to use as a reference guide. We're going to use this to draw our nose onto and make sure that the nose is facing the right direction and is also not any larger than the plane itself. So let's select our insert nose brush and draw out one nose. As you can see, I'm making sure that the nose is facing the right direction and it does not go any larger than the plane. You can also switch your nose to the side and by looking at the plane and the green line where the plane is sitting on, I can adjust how the nose will be sitting along the surface. In essence, I can adjust the deepness of where the nose would go into the surface. By switching to our move mode, I can make some quick minor adjustments. Now let's go ahead and adjust this nose and make it look a little different. In this example, I'm gonna do just use the move brush just to push and pull my points and create a completely different looking nose. I'm going for a little bit of a nose that you might find on a troll um, character. So very really quickly with just a couple brush strokes, we can really create a totally different looking nose. Once you get your nose to the point that you like, the next step is to get rid of the plane that's in the background. So I'm going to hold down the control and shift key and just only click on my nose in order to hide the plane itself. Once the plane's hidden, underneath my geometry sub palette, I'm just going to click the delete hidden. Now my plane is gone and all I'm left with is the nose. Now it's time to update the insert nose brush. After clicking on that brush, I'm going to go to my brush palette and under modifiers, I'm going to click on my little preview window and click on the new nose. You can see the nose and the icon itself are updated. Let's go ahead and give it this a try and applying this to our super average dude, which ships with ZBrush. Opening Lightbox, I can switch to find my super average dude and double click on that. Now with the insert nose that we've just created still selected, I'm going to draw out the new nose on my character. Now the position isn't exactly where I want it to be, so I'm going to mask off this nose really quick in the move mode and then move this nose into position. And there you have it. We've now just put a new nose on our super average dupe. That's updating a insert brush. Thank you for watching this video. Can please continue to watch more videos on pixelogic.com.